You chose to remain silent and you let those men die. Those men didn't just die. Hello, welcome back to another episode. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. The last episode of the Terminal List, Reclamation, opens with Reese witnessing the FBI removing Howard's kid and wife after they were used to assassinate Pillar. He realizes that both of their faces have been plastered on the little screens, as he waits for Ben to return from altering his look in his RV van. After they exchange a brief joke about how awful they look, private security, Ben says that Hartley has relocated up north and has surrounded herself with Talos agents. Reese understands that implies Hartley is aware of his impending attack. He is asked if it matters by Ben. According to him, it doesn't. Actually, Katie is kidnapped and transported to Harley's property so she may learn the truth and then write about it. She doesn't waste any time and begins to write down Hartley's responses to her queries. Hartley notes that Katie seems dubious about this putting the record straight thing. According to her, there is plenty of reason to be suspicious because Hartley utilized resources from the government to halt Katie's narrative before it could even be delivered to her publisher, Jordan. Hartley claims that Katie's account of what happened between Capstone Industries and the Navy SEALs was nearly libelous since it gave the improper sequence of events. Katie defends herself by asserting that her account was credible since she had first-hand knowledge from Horn, Pillar, and other sources. Hartley claims that while Katie's data is accurate, her conclusions are incorrect, particularly the claim that she is an unidentified Oberon Analytics recipient. She claims that neither Horn nor anybody else ever gave her a reward of any kind because she is aware that every conspirator participating in the program was compensated. Katie disputes this assertion. Because she was carrying out orders from the Pentagon, according to Hartley, she wasn't a conspirator. Katie reiterates that she tried an illegal substance on a battalion of Navy SEALs, and everyone aside from Reese is dead. She responds by stating that while she did start the test, she was not a part of the cover-up and she wasn't doing it for financial gain. Katie queries the need for even administering RD-4895. According to Katie, emergency use authorizations, which are different from FDA approval, are issued to save impending catastrophic loss of life. Hartley uses a variety of statistics, including the date of 9-11, to support her argument. When Katie inquires about the brain tumors, she replies that she was unaware of them until she watched her raving at Horn on television. She also claims to have started at CIS, Defense Criminal Investigative Service, internal probe after realizing Operation Odin Sword was a cover-up for this. In order to continue their chat later, Hartley gives Katie the option of staying in the east wing of the complex or leaving with what she has and publishing it. In another scene, Tony can be seen cursing on the treadmill after Reese kicked him in the butt. In Mac consult a dossier, and they determine that Ben and Reese are attempting to murder Hartley, but she will undoubtedly do it in order to finish the cover-up that all that has been happening will now finally come to a conclusion. Tony claims that he is positive that Reese is the victim in this situation, and that those he is pursuing are absolutely at fault. Mac wonders whether Tony is suddenly supporting Reese for some reason. In order to correct her, he clarifies that he views this as a chance to capture both Reese and the people who harmed him. She tells him that they are helpless since they are sitting on a bench. He says that he has gotten in touch with the Navy SEALs that assisted them in finding Reese in the bush to assist them once more. Katie examines Hartley's financial records, which she freely provided to aid with her investigation. She then informs Reese through SMS that Hartley is getting ready to murder him. Thanks for watching. Comment below and don't forget to subscribe.